Georgia State Representative, now a Republican, Misha Maynard, is joining us now. Hello, Misha. How are you? I am great, Glenn. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to get you on. I, I don't know how much we even agree on, but I believe that um, a healthy country is one that has people who have reasonable disagreements. As long as you agree on the Constitution's Bill of Rights, I'm on your side. Um, why did you leave the Democratic Party? I left the party for several reasons. There were several bills that have come through over the past three years that I completely disagree with the Democrats on. And those bills are some core values for them, um, meaning education, public safety, and systems over people. I fundamentally do not agree with their stance. I fundamentally agree with the Republicans on their stance with that. But what's more important is I don't like political propaganda. Now, yes, both sides may do it, um, but when it comes to my constituents, we don't have the opportunity to have political propaganda um, be an oversight to what is really going on when it comes to kitchen table issues. And so that is ultimately why I change parties. So what do you mean by kitchen table propaganda? Meaning we, well, the Democrats will talk about January 6th as if that impacted the kids in the schools failing, right? 97% of the kids in my school cannot read. That is a problem. 2% 90. have math. 97. That's what I said. Three away from 100%. So if you don't believe that children like that need an option, we have a fundamental disagreement where I cannot stand with you any longer. The other thing is defunding the police. Um, it's interesting. I had a conversation with another um, radio show earlier this day, earlier today, and he said Democrats do not did not support defunding the police. I said they don't what? now. I said they don't now, but they did. And when the bill in Georgia was out to defund the police, I again did not vote with the Democrats on that. I voted with the Republicans. I don't support defunding the police. No one in my community supports defunding the police. And now that everyone realizes we do not need to defund the police, now the Democrats will say, we never said that. But that is absolutely not true. Oh, my gosh. I can't. I just can't take the lies. You know, I can disagree with people and we can have a good, healthy conversation on that and walk away friends. I cannot take the lies. And the way, I mean, the African-American community has been, in many ways, enslaved by the Democrats. They, they just have been brainwashed into believing that the Republicans are all evil and they're going to, as Joe Biden said, put you back in chains. Uh, and the Democratic policies are good for the black community. Uh, that may have been true at one point. I don't think it was, but uh, it might have been true at one point. But it is certainly not true now. It's killing the inner cities. I agree. And the, the, a Bible scripture that I give people is Exodus 14, 9 through 14, where people are enslaved. And they tell Moses, please let us stay with our slave master. We do not want to have the chance to see what opportunity is we would rather stay slaves and unfortunately um people were slaves right and so it is if you have a system um, that is continuing to enslave your spirit and your mind um, we end up right where we are and so i'm asking minorities black americans in particular look around you there's not a republican there's not a white person that has been over your local school board, um, at the county commissioner's office, at the state legislature. So we cannot blame Republicans or white people for what is happening in our communities. It has been black Democrats that have been leading the policies where you live. So you are, I mean, you are the devil 
now <laughs> with, uh, with, <laughs> with Democrats. I mean, the messages that you have received, uh, you know, calling you the N-word, saying that you're following blindly, a stain on society that needs to be uh, flushed, an Uncle Tom B., uh, a Jemima MF trader. I mean, you, uh, uh, it, the hatred is beyond understanding. It is beyond understanding coming from the party of tolerance. Um, I think that sh- is showing America how intolerant um, Democrats are. So it's important for people like you and your listeners to go to my website, MishaMainer.com, mm-hmm. because I have a, a battle ahead of me. I need your support. I can't do it alone. Um, it's hard to take on an entire system nationwide. It's not just Georgia. You know, I'm receiving hate yeah. messages from across the country from Democrats, but I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight for what's right. Um, I'm pretty sound in my convictions. You know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I'm confident in who I am, so they can call me anything they want. I'm, I know who I am. My family knows who I am. My, my children know who I am. So mm. I'm praying for them. That, that is the uh, most important thing. I know when I started this, I had a long conversation with my children, and I said, Dad's going to be saying things, and it's going to be ugly, and, you know, I just want to know you know who I am, and you never forget who I am, because there's going to be all kinds of things said about me that aren't true. Some are true, but most of it is not. Um, Misha, um, as you go into your constituents and you meet the people on the street, et cetera, et cetera, we know what the... the uh, the real strong activists are saying. What are your constituents saying to you? Great point. They are saying, Representative Maynard, we support you. We don't care what alphabet is next to your name. You have been in our community helping us. Um, No one has brought light to issues in the past 50 years until you came into office. So we wholeheartedly support you. The other thing is for every one hate mail. Um, There are 100 letters of support. And so my community is behind me. It's going to take some education. Um, What people, I need to let people know is that in November during the general election, you may not see my name on your primary ballot and that's okay. But when it comes to November, you have my name there and you have my option and you can switch sides just like they did with Herschel Walker and Warnock. Misha, um, you know, there was a a story that I read about you. It says you become the first black Republican woman in state legislature. And I think um, that is so uh, misleading. It is absolutely true, but it is misleading in the way it people just think that they're, you know, in Georgia, there would never be a, a black Republican in the 1860s and 70s, I think there was, what did I say earlier, Stu, 72 black Republicans that were part of the Constitutional Convention and the legislature in Georgia. I mean, if you were in the South and you were a Republican back in the day, uh, you were most likely black. And it, it's just in those years, uh, you know, starting maybe in the 20s and 30s that things started to change. Um, but the, the Republican Party, when they're at their best and, and being who they're supposed to be, they were the champions of the little guy. They were the champions of freedom. They were the champions of, of uh, freedom for all men. Absolutely. And I would even say it's more recent than the 20s and 30s. I think, you know, with Lyndon and Kennedy, that kind of changed the tides of um, black folks, if you will, turning from Republican to Democrat. So, and also with the Roosevelt. um, But yeah, you're right. There are more than just black. I'm not the only black Republican in Georgia. So 
by far I'm not. In fact, you know, it's stigma. I told in my press conference, for whatever reason, there's a stigma to be a Republican if you're black. It's a stigma to be gay if you're black. And it's a stigma to commit suicide if you're black. Those are three things in black culture you just cannot do. Um, and I hope Jeez. it's that. I hope so, too. Misha, thank you so much. Um, stay strong. Um, and thank you for speaking your mind and following your conscience. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. MishaMaynard.com, and I appreciate you. Okay, MishaMaynard.com is her website, and she does have quite a fight. Uh, she'll be fighting the entire Democratic Party. Uh, MishaMaynard.com. Thank you, Misha. Appreciate it. 